Hi everyone, welcome to this brief introduction to Growing in the Word, our Bible history course uh, for this year. Very glad to have you joining us and participating in this class. I think it will be a blessing uh, for everyone. So here's the plan for our class. Uh, previously, uh, this was before COVID, we had in-person classes every Wednesday afternoon. Instead of doing that, we are going to be making classes available online, on demand, uh, so that students and their parents are able to complete the classes at home on their own schedule. And we'll talk a little bit more about how that is going to work. What are the benefits of doing it this way? Well, first of all, there is more flexibility for those involved in after school activities. I know so many of you are involved in so many things, sports and music and everything else. Sometimes it was difficult for, for people to be able to arrange their schedules to be here every Wednesday afternoon for class. This way you can set your own schedule. You can do these lessons as you have the time uh, each week. Even more important though, uh, is the benefit of parents and children having the opportunity to study God's word together. I know oftentimes parents know that they should be spending time in God's word with their children. They want to be spending time in God's word with their children, but maybe uh, you don't have the, the resources or you think you don't have the ability. Uh, here, this is a, a simple, easy way. We'll provide the materials, I'll do the majority of the teaching, but you will have the opportunity every week uh, to spend time together in God's Word. And I hope that's how it how it works. I know sometimes children have just gone through the lessons on their own. That's okay, but I really would like for parents and children to watch the lessons together and participate together. Uh, that would be ideal, and I think that there will be lots of blessings in doing it that way. Our procedure. Each week, typically on Wednesdays, although sometimes it, it doesn't happen uh, on Wednesday, it may be Thursday or Friday, but uh, typically I try every Wednesday to send out a link to the lesson or the lessons. Uh, we'll start with one lesson each week and then work our way up to two lessons each week. Uh, they are recorded, they are on YouTube, uh, so I'll send you the, the link to the YouTube videos. Uh, and then uh, each week you will watch the lesson or the lessons. I'll be uh, teaching the lesson. Uh, it says there I will record myself. I, I have recorded myself. Uh, these are lessons that were recorded uh, a couple of years ago. I don't think there are many outdated uh, references or anything uh, like that, but just in case you hear something that doesn't seem like it's quite current, uh, these lessons were recorded a couple of years ago. Uh, so I'll be teaching the lesson. There will be pauses during each lesson uh, to read uh, from the Bible, to answer questions at home, uh, things like that. As you are uh, watching each lesson, you'll be writing down uh, the answers to the questions, any notes that you might want to take in your workbook. And then after the lesson, uh, there will be a, uh, a worksheet slash quiz uh, online for the lesson. And I'll be including the link to that uh, worksheet quiz in that same email. So you'll have links to the lesson video and then a link to the online worksheet. You can use the Bible, you can use your workbook, you can use any resources that you'd like to, to complete that online worksheet. Uh, they're not long, 10, 12 questions maybe. Uh, so nothing that's too uh, intensive. Our first year students, typically sixth graders, although sometimes uh, we'll have fifth graders uh, starting out or seventh graders, but typically the sixth grade year is our first year of instruction. We are going to be using a series called Growing in the Word, which is a green workbook. And uh, through this, uh, this workbook, we'll be covering the entire span of salvation history. 
Sometimes when we think about Bible history or just reading the Bible in general, we think that, that the Bible is maybe just a random collection of, of names and, and dates and places and all of these, these events that are taking place. But hopefully this year we'll see that really the Bible is one epic story of God's plan of salvation playing out uh, through history. We'll see how all of these stories are connected and how all of these stories really are pointing to Jesus Christ, uh, our Savior. I think it'll be a beneficial and uh, blessed time. What materials will you need for this course? You will need a workbook. It's a green workbook called Growing in the Word. We have those workbooks available for you in the office. So we'll ask you at some point um, to, to come into our office here at church and pick one of those workbooks up from, uh, from Rachel. And then also a Bible. Um, if you don't have one at home, uh, if, you, if you do, and hopefully you do have a Bible at home, uh, you can feel free to use that one. Uh, it doesn't need to be a certain translation. Sometimes people wonder what translation to use. Um, any translation that you have at home should work just fine. Uh, if you don't have a Bible, if you need one, we'll be happy to provide that to you too. Again, Rachel has those in the office. Uh, you can pick those up. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to get in touch with me, to contact me. You can email me or, or text me or call me uh, or talk to me at church. Uh, don't hesitate to get in touch with me with your questions. Maybe they're scriptural questions. What does this mean? Why does, why does the Bible say that? Those sorts of things, I, I, I'd be happy to answer those questions. Or maybe they're technical questions, can't access a video or, or whatever. Um, I'd be happy to help out with those uh, too. Uh, but don't hesitate to contact me with any questions. That concludes the short introductory video. I will be sending out the first lessons here soon. Uh, the Wednesday after Labor Day is when we'll start. Uh, but again, if you have any questions before that, uh, please get in touch with me. Otherwise, we will plan to start soon. God's blessings to all of you.